We have gotten a lot of returning monsters that come back to Sunbreak that we have not really expected to see, like Gormagala or Astalos, and many others that we have gotten back. There is just one particular monster that we got back that came from a certain Monster Hunter game, Espinas from Monster Hunter Frontier. Frontier has been a game that I never got the chance to play at all. I have mostly heard stories and seen some footage online from friends. Out of all the new monsters, I would argue to say that Espinas is probably one of the most unique monsters that we have gotten to return to a main series release. It's not saying that the other monsters that have returned are not unique, but this time it's a little different. Hello everyone, my name is Skoy Skull and welcome your faces to another video. In today's video, I would love to gush all about Espinas. There's a lot of hope that comes with this monster coming into a main series release and what other monsters we could see come back. Also just mentioning monsters that would be amazing to fight from games like Monster Hunter Frontier and Monster Hunter Explore. Now leave a like and subscribe because these monster designs are absolutely incredible. Before we dive deep into the different monsters from previous games and how amazing it would be to see them and fight them in a main series release, I would like to talk about a monster that we did get back, Espinas. Aside from thinking that it was Narjarala from first glance, I was very curious about this monster. Hey! Wait! Who are you? Espinas, coming from Monster Hunter Frontier, is a very glass cannon monster, where if you are not careful, it will destroy you. While it's super adorable when it sleeps, it's pretty deep sleeper, like, like a really deep sleeper. <laughs> Taking many hits for it to wake up and start attacking. It takes a wyvern ride to wake this thing. The hunt definitely changes your play style where you need to be more patient when finding this monster. If you want to counter one of its big moves and have it charge at you with its mug face, he knows what he's doing. Some of his moves do take a bit to come at you, so be prepared. You definitely have to wait for a right moment. And this fire blast that it does is definitely something different. A lot of people like me that have never fought this this monster was thinking that this was going to be another Rathalos clone that can sleep, but nope. <laughs> when this monster unleashes its fury of fire blast, it does both fire, poison, and paralysis. And as you were there trying frantically to get up, hoping that your Palamute or Palico would knock you out of it, Espinaz comes charging in ready for the kill. This monster can be brutal, but as annoying as all this sounds, it's definitely one of my favorite hunts. The design itself is pretty intense looking and cute when it wants to be, and super edgy looking as well, as when it gets enraged it begins to glow red but the fight itself is just so much fun then i heard that there were different versions of this monster and their moveset is entirely different i really hope we get that version in some break and i definitely think that is possible along with other monsters that a lot of us have never experienced before there are some crazy monsters that we have gotten back, but I feel like some of the best designs I have ever seen come from games that I haven't really heard of until much later. Like an MMORPG Monster Hunter, Monster Hunter Frontier. An MMORPG that shut down in December 2019. After getting into the whole franchise after Monster Hunter World and realizing my love for MMORPGs in Final Fantasy XIV, I've been really wanting to play Frontier. The weapons, armor, and just the fact that you you can play with so many friends online hunting monsters has me over the moon excited for maybe one day we will get something like this back. I have been looking more and more into this game as time goes on and holy this game has possibly some of the best monster designs that I've ever seen. It also has a Gormagala and it's an MMORPG. It's an automatic 10 out of 10 in my book. <laughs> I have heard of the complaints that the monsters have too many spikes on their designs, and yeah, I can see where you're coming from, but look how epic they are! Having so many different versions of the monster we already have, and so many new monsters we have never seen before. Like, the designs are incredible. Then we have the game Monster Hunter Explore, which is a mobile game that came out back in 2015 in Japan and later in Canada in 2016. Was also then cancelled in November of 2020. We can't get a break! <laughs> this game also had some incredible crossovers, which also led to some amazing designs for a lot of monsters. We got a crossovers from an Attack on Titan, Neon Genesis, Fate, Demon Slayer, and so much more. I can't even get over the fact that all these insane designs that we have gotten so far. The ones from Neon Genesis looking incredible with our new versions of Gormagala and Brachidios. Then we have Attack on Titan with our Titan looking Devil Show. What is happening? Where are all these games with the best crossovers getting cancelled before I get a chance to play them? The point of all this is that there is a chance that we could see a lot of these designs in Sunbreak. 
Espinas has opened the floodgates for endless possibilities of what we could expect to see for Monsters and Sunbreak. All these monsters from Frontier and Explorer have a high chance of coming back, and I'm all here for it. They're giving me a little taste of what it was like to hunt these monsters in their previous titles that I can't even play. Thank you all so much for watching. If you all enjoyed, please let me know what monster that you have seen from previous titles like these, Return to Sunbreak, or any other future release. Or if you have played these previous releases, let me know how it was. I would love to talk about it with all of you. Also, I am aware that there are ways to explore these titles, but for some games that have been cancelled, I personally would like to respect that they are done with that release and leave it at that. Maybe one day we will get to explore these previous titles. Sorry. <laughs> with that, much love you guys and I'll see you all in the next video.